Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do a fuel indicator next to the captain or wherever you want, along with changing the color of the text. Uh, just for simplicity's sake on this ship, I'm just going to uh, change one of these displays. Uh, but I'm going to run all the cables myself, just so you can see how it goes. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to run the cables to make it look all fancy. I'm just going to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is a uh, fuel percentage left. Uh, this is what I get for playing a captain. I, I don't know how to change the class on this, but all right, we're going to do it again. Do fuel percentage left. Go back up here. God dang it. Go over here. I'm not even paying attention. And then we're going to do set text on this. So that's going to show the fuel percent left. So now what we're going to do is go back. We're going to do another fuel percent left. I'm really going to get shocked again. Uh, do another. Ah! This <laughs> is third time is trying. Nope. Son of a bitch. Hey, I got it. All right, okay. So come over here. And on this fuel percentage left, we're going to do the greater component, which is here. And I'll show you how all this works as I'm going through it. So we have the fuel percentage left going there now. And then we want the uh, signal check out of this to go to the signal component, and that's going to go to signal in. And I'll kind of explain how all this works in a second. So the memory component, we want the signal out of the memory component going to the greater component of signal two. And then uh, on the signal component, we want the signal out to go here, and we're going to tell it to set text color. And as I set this up, I'll kind of go through uh, how we want it. So on the greater component on this part, uh, we want the output to be 100, and that would technically be like 100%, like the number is 100. On false output, uh, 22 is the one I set it to because I want to know 22% and lower, but you can change these values if you want. Oh, so we got that. Then on the signal check component, uh, this is what we want to output as the colors. You can do whatever colors you want, but this is what I usually set on. Let's go 255, 255, 255, 255, enter. Uh, on this one, we want uh, 255, 50, uh, 50, 50, 255, and then target signal is 100. Then on the memory component, uh, this is where you would do the 22 value, uh, just because that's the value that I set. But if we want, we could go in here, and let's say this is 66. And then come in here and say 66. So if I did all this correctly, which is possible I messed up, when this gets to 66, it'll turn red and it'll do the color. So on the greater component, whatever the false output is, you want that to be whenever you want the color to change to another color. And on the memory component, that's what it's checking the value of. So you need this to be whatever percent you want it to check. Uh, so basically the output, so, well, I mean, you can kind of read it, but if it's 100, if, if it's anywhere above 66 up to 100, it will be uh, white. That's the color we have set. And then anything below the false output value, it's going to turn into the other color that we set in the signal. And just so you can see, we use this flood as an example. If we do 255 all the way across, that makes white, so the text is going to be white. 
But if we do the other uh, category that I set, or the other colors I set, 255, 255, that makes it red. You could do whatever color you want. Uh, and then you would just set the other colors that you want to change in the false output value. So just to go through it all again, you want the nuclear reactor fuel percentage left going to signal in one. You want the memory component go to signal two. And the signal out, you want to go to the signal check component. With the output being 100 and the false whatever number you want it to check for, and then change the color. And then the signal out, uh, signal check component, that goes, that leads back to the greater component. And from the signal check, the signal out goes to the display as the set text color, since all this is just for color. And then the memory component is whatever you wanted to check against. So the memory component and the greater component false out needs to be the same number. Uh, if they're two different numbers, I don't know what happens. I've not tested that, but it probably doesn't work or gets weird. So you want it to be the same. Uh, so just for sake of clarity, you need two wires coming from the reactor to the text display. So you need a fuel percentage left going to set text, because that's actually how it reads and puts the text on the screen. Then all the other components are just for the color value. Uh, and then you can put the text display anywhere. I have it next to the captain. Uh, typically I try putting it uh, where they can easily see it down there. It gets kind of weird. Uh, having different colors uh, so we can go through this display also works. Uh, but it's usually not an issue of how you do that. Uh, but like maybe if you made it a purple or something, it would be easier to see just for fun. Uh, we can try that now. Uh, so let's do 255 here. And let's just make it green and see that. So yeah, the green, a lot easier to see through this uh, filter. So maybe that would be a better color for you. I like a red tint just because it fits with the theme. But however you want it to go is uh, how it will work. All right, that is it. See you guys later.